The other day I made a video about using the 2D heat equation to simulate cooking a turkey in Python. And while it was somewhat interesting, it was unfortunately one dimension short of our world that we live in. Shortly after posting the video, I was messaged by a user who provided me with a 3D image of a raw turkey. This file certainly looked really cool, but I was unable to use it directly in Python. So I found an online application where I could take a OBJ file and convert it into what's known as a voxel file with a bunch of pixels or coordinates of where the turkey exists. Then I could take this file, upload it into Python, and I would have the coordinates of all the locations of the turkey. Loading the coordinates in Python wasn't too much of a challenge, and I decided that the best way forward would be to create a three-dimensional array of booleans. That is, at every point in this 3D box, it's either true or false. And if it's true, then the turkey exists at the location, and if it's false, then that would be like the oven or the air of the oven. What I could then do is I could make an array of initial temperatures, a different array, 3D, where each point in the turkey was set to um, room temperature, about 25 degrees Celsius, and the oven was set to about 165 degrees Celsius. So there would be some points that were set to a colder temperature and some to a warmer. And at that point, I could start to solve the heat equation itself. While the heat equation might be pretty difficult to understand in differential form, it's actually really easy to understand in discrete form. Now remember that voxel file we had with a bunch of cubes all positioned next to each other? And I draw a diagram of the cubes here, and you'll note that each cube is, has two cubes, one above, one below, left, right, and front, back. And we want to determine, is that center cube going to heat up or not? Well, there's a really easy way to say that. You say, okay, we'll take the average temperature of the six cubes surrounding it. If it's hotter, it heats up, and if it's colder, it cools down. So we need to be very specific about how this problem is being set up. We have the our initial state of the turkey, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna advance time a little bit, and we'll get a new snapshot of the turkey. Then advance time a little bit more, and get another snapshot of the turkey. And between those snapshots, the temperature is going to change. The question is by how much does it change? And there's a few properties here. Firstly is the distance between the blocks, right? Suppose we're simulating the earth and the blocks are spaced really far apart in our voxel file. There's going to be less temperature change. So the closer together the blocks are, the more temperature change. Secondly is the time between those snapshots that I talked about, right? The closer together those snapshots are, the less temperature there's gonna be. So if it's the snapshots are like, you know, a few seconds apart, there's gonna be more temperature change than a few milliseconds apart. So that's the second parameter we need to deal with. The third thing is the thermal diffusivity constant. That's related to the material because different materials conduct heat at different rates. And when we combine all three of those things together, we get the following equation. This equation can be implemented pretty easily in Python. Note the use of Numba here to significantly increase the speed of the code since I'm using so many for loops. The important things to note here is that I loop through all the times or all the snapshots that I take. And remember that I have to update the temperature of each block in the entire 3D array. So I need a triple for loop to go through X, Y, and Z. And then finally, I only update the points that correspond to the turkey, and I keep the oven at a constant temperature. With the equation solved and the solution obtained, I can look at the snapshots of the turkey throughout the cooking process. Specifically, it's interesting to look at animations of the turkey at certain cross sections and see how it evolves throughout time. Perhaps most interesting is the comparison of the average temperature of the turkey to the smallest or the coldest temperature of the turkey. And you can see that while the average temperature heats up pretty fast, that minimum temperature takes a lot longer to heat up. And of course, when you're actually cooking something like a turkey, you wanna make sure that all the meat is cooked well. And so you're probably most interested in the minimum temperature of the turkey. Anyways, that's all from me today, guys. If you like this video, please be sure to subscribe and like. All the code on this video is going to be posted on GitHub. If you want to explore this sort of thing, check it out. Go to my GitHub, get the code, 
And please, in the comments, let me know what you've done with this. I'm curious to see how people will use this code for their own purposes. Remember that this can be used with any voxel file you want for any application. All right, see you guys later.